welcome to my Spain vlog. I apologize for the delay, but I wanted to post this before the year ends. Because it wouldn't make sense to post it in 2024. So I thought I might as well just post it now. Editing this vlog was quite challenging because I initially had 987 videos. Okay, I decided to do voiceover salang para mabilis kasi o hindi, it would have taken forever to edit this vlog and my vlog would probably be 4 hours long. Originally, I was planning to go to Spain with my best friend Bea, pero hindi nagtugma yung schedule namin. Tapos, two weeks na siyang nasa Spain. She was homesick na and she didn't want to wait for me anymore. So, wala. Meron na kasi Shenzhen visa and experiencing solo travel had always been a dream of mine. So, I decided that this was the perfect time to do it. Kasi I needed this time for myself kasi nga may pinagdadaanan ako at that time. So, nandito na tayo sa plane. Yes, I'm crying. If hindi nyo alam, I'm scared of planes, heights, and especially turbulence. I had mixed emotions during takeoff. Besides being nervous about flying alone, I was also anxious about what was to come. I had never done anything this extreme alone for myself. I was excited but also scared. And with what I was going through at that time, I felt all my emotions all at once. Pero yan, okay na ako kumakain. Nanonood na lang ng movie. Tapos, I had a quick layover in Abu Dhabi. And now, nasa Spain na tayo. I arrived at my hotel but my room isn't ready yet. So, I decided to have a quick brunch at the restaurant in front of my hotel. This was my first meal in Spain. At sobrang sarap. After that, I decided to take a walk and explore the surroundings of my hotel. I wanted to find the nearest convenience store and see what other stores are nearby just in case I needed to buy anything. So, quick room tour. So, this is my room. I requested a small room because I feel like I'll get scared being all by myself in a big room. But my mom insisted on booking a hotel for me. Even though I was against it because it's too expensive compared to Airbnb options. Pero pumayag na lang ako para magka-peace of mind yung mommy ko since it's my first solo travel. And hotels generally have more security. After freshening up and doing my makeup, I decided to visit Retiro Park since walking distance lang naman siya from my hotel. I rented the mini tour. Based on what used to be the cornices of the royal palace, but due to their weight, they were moved here. My tour guide didn't speak English, so she used an audio translator to share the stories behind the park. A mining arts museum. Today is an extension of the ring. Before leaving, I had some snacks, and then I had dinner before returning to my hotel. And that wraps up my first day and night in Madrid. Day 2! I felt really nervous because it would be my first time commuting in a foreign country. And on top of that, I would be doing it alone. I'm not sure nga eh, if it's called commuting pa rin since I'll only be taking the train, but yeah. All my friends and family were still asleep, so wala akong kausap niyan. Kung maliligaw ako, walang tutulong sa akin. Pero yan, nasa train na tayo. I was just listening to music and enjoying the view. Guys, it's official. Nakapag-commute na ako. Nakapag-commute. We are now in our second city, the beautiful Granada. I booked a solo tour guide so that I could learn more about the culture. If you know, alam, I'm quite shy when I'm around new people, so I prefer doing things alone. So this trip was meant to be personal, so I chose to go with solo tour guides. Kahit mas mahal sila. Pero yan, ang ganda! Ganda sa Granada. The place where the soldier had the, the barracks. Mm -hmm. Look at everything is, is empty underground. There is a prison, for example. Look here. Look at the tour guide here. 
You could be bigger names the Lakshya. Yeah, I it's possible. I can find the, the underground. Do you see oh it? my god! It's huge. This place is scary. Huge. What's <laughs> amazing? So anyway, after that, I went to the cathedral because that was my goal to visit all the cathedrals because they say if you go to a new church, you have three wishes. And I was very adamant about my wishes. I was asking for signs and guidance throughout this whole trip. Then my tour guide needed to leave, but she left me with her stuff. But she left me with her substitute. She was really nice and she was my age. Up until now, we still keep in contact. And since I'm finished with my tour in Granada, I asked her where we could go because I still had time before I leave for my train. So, pumunta kami sa campus dito sa Granada. So, funny thing about my way back to Madrid, I misplaced my passport and wallet somewhere in the train station, but I managed to get them back. Next time, kung naikikwento yun, mahaba yun eh. So, I just booked an Uber on my way back to the hotel. So here I am doing my skincare routine. I ordered a drink and some pizza because I didn't have anything for dinner. By the way, this was the best margarita pizza ever. For day three, it was my free day. So I decided to explore Madrid on my own without a tour guide or anyone else. I wanted to have the freedom to wander and discover things by myself. So I came across a market near the Bank of Spain. Yan bumilo pa sa lubong. Say na yung Bank of Spain. I also visited this famous food market. Tapos sa food trip ako. Ayan. Kaya tumaba ako eh. Pumunta na din ako sa Plaza Mayor since malapit lang naman yun. Tapos alam nyo, daming Pinoy dito sa Madrid. So seeing my fellow Filipinos made me feel at home. So after this, I decided to go out and have some fun in the evening because I heard that Madrid has one of the best nightlife scenes. Dito ko talaga na-realize na bagay ako dito kasi night owl yung mga tao. It took me about 30 minutes of walking before I reached my destination and share ko lang. As an actress and as a woman, I've never done this before. It's really scary to walk alone at night, especially in the Philippines, but... Here in Madrid, I got to experience it and surprisingly, I felt safe. To be honest, I also felt empowered. There's something empowering about walking the streets alone at night, especially as a woman. It's empowering and scary at the same time kasi kinuro sa mga girls to not walk alone at night kasi nga, delikado. But here I am, doing it. So hooray for me! Tapos umulan! But luckily, I brought my umbrella with me and I reached my destination safely. So, pumunta ako sa sikat na club dito sa Madrid. It was crazy. The club had multiple floors. But yan, I was just partying and having fun by myself. After a while, I met a group of girls. You can hear them hyping me up while taking pictures of me. They were so nice. They asked if I wanted to join them kasi nga nakita nila mag-isa lang ako. Pero yeah. I went home by myself. Uunahan ko na yung mga nag assume okay? I didn't bring anyone with me to my hotel. Yan, kausap ko sarili ko sa elevator because I was so proud of myself for surviving the night. It takes a lot of courage to go to a party alone. It's a different experience from going out for lunch or going to the cinema alone. Pero kasi, partying alone, kailangan makapal mo ka mo dyan and dapat may confidence ka because people might think, now you're silly for partying alone. But. but you know what? This trip was all about experiencing things on my own and trusting myself that I can handle things independently. Sinan ko at sa family and friends ko eh, sabi ko, I think I can survive anything now that I have partied alone. There's something liberating about it. And I think people that are of age, of age ha, like me turning 21 in a couple of months, should try it at least once. Day four, I went on a guided tour of Madrid. Although I had been to the places before, it's always different when you're with a local guide who can share some stories about the places. Para mas alam yung culture nila. Tapos biglang umulan. Okay, so I just want to share how much I cherished that moment. 
Kasi you see, growing up, I always had someone holding an umbrella for me. Not because I'm spoiled, but because there's always a crew behind the scenes and some crew members' job is literally to hold umbrellas for actors. So, holding the umbrella and experiencing those movie-like scenes where you have to find cover because of the heavy rain meant a lot to me. I was just truly enjoying the simple things and the feeling of being a normal person even just for a little while. Afterwards, from here, I will tell you how to... But it's a lot of people waiting here. Yeah. It's okay, I will really... So after the tour, my guide dropped me off at a famous churros place. TikTok said I had to try it, so of course. Since I'm going to try it, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Since I was alone again, I decided to go to the famous rooftop bar in Madrid. So here's a fun story. I wasn't aware that you needed a reservation for this place, but a teenage penai na pa picture kasi siya sa akin. Tapos invited din niya ako to join her and her friend, and we ended up getting along really well, and I had a great time with them. Tinuro pa nila ako mag German. Ich liebe dich. Ja, das ist auch gut. Ich liebe dich. 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 Then here, are you listening to me? I'm drama because I'm so proud of what I enjoy. This is the first time in a long time that I'm crying. My first tears of joy. Yeah, because that's your first happy tears go after quite some time. Anyway, tulog na ako. So day five, I'm off to Sevilla. Tama ba pronunciation ko? Anyway, dun ako sa train station and pro na ako ngayon. Ha ha ha. My tour guide picked me up, and oh my gosh. Sobrang ganda dito. Probably one of my favorite cities I've ever visited. It's incredibly beautiful. He was born and died in Seville in the 17th century. He was a very beloved man. Countess of the Iberian Peninsula participated. The cathedral there has this tower. Super ako na pagod because it had around 50 floors. It's paikot ikot kalang, but worth it the menu view. So of course, yung three wishes ko nga, and then pumunta na kami sa bull arena. I forgot what it's called, eh. but yeah, bull arena yun na lang. Seen your reaction, ko. Nung nakita ko na yung arena. They also had a mini museum there. My tour guide shared some interesting stories about the arena. At the beginning, the bull rings were made the bull cards. So after that, we went to Jardines Alcazares. Tama ba pronunciation ko sa ori na? So parang may mga garden, garden don. So brangan. Hold on, palas is the palas in the middle. This is the one that we want to visit. That's the security. And if you're wondering why I keep changing outfits, it's because I took a lot of pictures and I didn't want to have the same outfit in every place I visited. Chaka, you know, tip lang para mo kang. Nakailang days ka, di ba? 
Anyway, for dinner, I ate at a restaurant near my hotel. Tapos recto hotel na din ang tulog. And day six! So, I went to Toledo with the same tour guide I had in Madrid. You know, yung tour guide ko na to, he texted me after our tour. Sabi niya, stay safe and be very happy. Don't stop looking for rainbows. I really appreciate the connections I made with all my tour guides. They even mentioned that it was refreshing for them to bond with a client because they're used to being with a group. They would ask me kasi why I'm here and I opened up to them about my story. They gave me advice as adults with their own experiences and they also shared their own stories. Well, Alang, it's so cool to learn about the different experiences and baggage that people have in their lives. Having deep conversations with strangers is fun because you never know what their story is. And ayun, of course, di ko pwede kalimutan, pumunta ako sa Cathedral sa Toledo. So after my tour, I took the bus back home and I booked a pedicure appointment kasi, my gosh, yung pa ako, puro kalyo na. And of course, the number one source ko sa TikTok sabi, I should watch a flamenco show while in Spain. So, andyan ako. And they were all amazing. Then, I went home na kasi late na yan, 12 na. The next day, I visited the royal palace. So ganda. Guys, may, may sobrang bait akong nakitang lovebirds. Tapos sabi nila, pwede nila akong picturean kasi mag lang ako dito sa royal palace kasi iniwan ako ng photographer ko. Ayan sila si Ate Arnie. Hello, San Diego, Philippines. Hello, 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 Yes, wala ko pang amoy, pero mahilig ako sa pabango. Then, kumain ako ng favorite dish ko na kamote. Since it's my last day, I decided to meet up with some friends who I recently discovered were also here. Sabi ko kasi, why not hang out with people my age and make new friends, diba? I met new people and became friends with them. Nag-chill lang kami, chill barbecue night. So, on my way home, I said bye to the Bank of Spain. Wala lang. And now, nasa room na ako. Nagsisenti kasi mamimiss ko ang Madrid. So, before I end the vlog, I just want to thank my mom and my family for trusting me and allowing me to do this trip on my own. This journey is very special to me as it has taught me a lot about myself. In the past years kasi, I've noticed that I have become too reliant on certain people. Well, it's good to have people to rely on, but sometimes it can do more harm than good. One of the main reasons I took this trip was to test myself and prove to not only the people around me, but also to myself that I can handle being alone. I wanted to prove that I can be independent and learn to enjoy my own company. As I enter adulthood and life becomes more serious, I wanted to become more secure in myself and in order to do that, I needed to spend time alone and learn to be alone. Matuto, mag-isa. So this will probably be the first of many more solo trips to come. And of course, I would like to thank my fans, my bosses, my supporters, my endorsements, and kahit bashers ko, kasi without all of you, I don't think I would have the privilege to indulge and treat myself for the trip to Europe. And lastly, I want to thank myself. Thank you. Thank you for doing this for you. For me. 
I'm so proud of myself. Kaya hooray for me. Tapos yan, pauwi na ako. Back to reality na ako, guys. Dito na ulit ako sa Manila. I keep coming back to Manila. Well, excited naman na makita yung family ko, pero miss ko na agad yung Madrid. Nasa bahay na ako. Nagkaya ko sa family ko kasi super ko silang na-miss. And super excited ako kasi nakita ko na yung newborn pups ng dogs ko. Angela, so cute. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed my Spain vlog. For those who want to solo travel or go on a soul searching journey but feel intimidated and takot din. Guys, kaya nyo yan. As in, if kaya ko, kaya nyo din. It's really worth it. Don't be afraid to be alone. Huwag kayong matakot mag-isa. At the end of the day, all we have is ourselves. Kaya sign na to. Gawin nyo na. Sa to, bonus clip lang. Kwentuhan lang with the fam about my trip. Tapos kwento ko kung paano ko nawala yung passport and wallet ko. Nawala ko yung passport at saka yung card ko.